good morning everyone welcome back to the cabin first thing I want to do is I want to thank each and every one of you for all of the kind well wishes and condolences that uh, myself and my family received over uh, the last video which I put out and told everyone about the passing of my mother and my two uncles in the last two months um, you don't know how much that that really helps us to continue to move forward um, up here at the outpost so we want to thank you deeply from the bottom of our heart what I've got on the sawmill here is a 14 foot uh, yellow pine log that measures 16 inches in diameter. I'm going to cut it up to finish some of the stripping that I need for the metal to put on the smokehouse. I'll probably use some of it for the front door as well as it's large enough to cut some fascia to go on the cabin to kind of finish off the front porch that we actually built. So let's get busy. make a fire here because the nets are certainly terrible and the smoke will keep them away this is some pine pitch right here burns really good just 
you this a little fire going. And I think we'll be all right. supposed to start raining today in a few hours and I'm hoping I can get enough done to at least get the black paper on here that would certainly be nice Thank <laughs> you. 
decided to come down here where I could use these saw horses to actually saw this material. It rained for about an hour and I had to go in so I edited a little bit on the video. Well, it is getting ready to rain again, I think in about an hour. So, this may be all the time that I have today.
Well, it is getting ready to rain again. So I am glad that I at least got the black paper on there. Um, I still got to strip it so that I can get the metal and put that on there. But I think it's really looking good. I'm going to let it sit uh, for a little bit and kind of dry out because that last pine that I cut was green. Uh, and then I'm going to burn it. I was burning them before, like this side right here, before I put it up. But then I thought, you know, why not? Let's just burn it once it's up. So, um, yeah, I think it's looking good. I've got some extra footage towards the end of this video where we had some subscribers drive all the way up from Louisiana and they brought the best gift. I mean, it was awesome. About, I about fell over when they got out. So I'm going to show that footage to you right now. But guys, before I do, I'm going to say, hey, thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time. <laughs> Hey, what are we doing? Beat you. Yeah. From time to time, we have uh, people that want to stop by that have been watching the channel for a while, which happens to be these folks right here from Lafayette. Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, or Louisiana. Which is the per correct way? Louisiana. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, um, and they came bearing gifts, and I about fell over when he got on the vehicle. He's had this for a year. They were in Tennessee a year ago. Got to feeling a little sick, decided to go ahead and go on home, but he's held on to this for a year. And when he got out, this is what he had in his hand. He had this made for us. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen up against my shirt? It says Smoky Mountain Outpost. Anyway, leave us some comments and tell us where you think would be a good spot to hang this. We were kind of thinking maybe out here in the outdoor kitchen. But um, anyway, we really do appreciate things like that. We don't ever expect nothing, but when people come with stuff like that, I mean, it just makes you feel so good about what you've done. And um, If this don't make your heart melt into like 50 pieces, then something's wrong with you. It's got to get you real good. Um, I asked him, how did you find out about our channel? Just scrolling through YouTube with the bushcraft and it just popped up. That's when I was working on that base camp down there, I think, he said. Um, and then when I started building the cabin, he just kept watching from there. Yep. But um, anyway, yeah, this will go really good up here um, in some spot, actually. Um, I think we're all thinking, even right Michael's there. thinking, yeah. Yeah. hanging it up at the outdoor kitchen. At the outdoor kitchen. So change. you let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, I do have a joke. Fun fact. Really? Yeah, fun fact. <laughs> you know, before crowbars were invented, crows drank at home. You know, crowbar. <laughs> and the crowd went, oh. Oh. Listen, listen, I have another one. Ready? What generation does Forrest Gump belong to? Gen A! <laughs> Gen A. I did say Gen A. I know, but I just got it. Sorry. Oh, man, you're slow. Yeah. He's normally I fast. I was hanging around the crowbar. No. <laughs> I thought those were pretty good. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is his wife, Charlie, and Maddie. Maddie, and this is Michael, Michael. and um, yeah, we're really pleased as punch to have that new addition up here. This is nice. Yeah, it really is. But I think this takes the cake. Yes. Yep. It's something different. And you've mm -hmm. held on to it for over a year. A over year. a year. Yep. Yeah. Man. Anyway, they called and they wanted to know, you know, when would be a good time to, to come up. And uh, so I told them today. And we actually got rained out a little bit, but um, we made it through. We actually went in the cabin and just talked. Uh, Michael works EMS as well, so um, he actually got me on my soapbox going uh, just by commenting, uh, making a few comments. But um, anyway, yeah, we, we greatly do appreciate that. That's really, really nice.